All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, State of the Union's currently on while I'm recording this. Uh, I've seen just a little bit of it, and that's enough. Uh, yeah, at least uh, Trump gave us a thumbs up about uh, U.S. being number one exporter, or uh, number one producing country, and they're actually a net exporter uh, for the first time in 60-something years, which is good. Kudos to the oil field guys. Uh, keep doing your part. Let's rock on. But anyway, today I'm going to discuss and give an update on Venezuela. So as we know, Venezuela has been sanctioned by the United States. Uh, it's dealing with President Maduro. Uh, these sanctions are imposed basically to force him out of office and get the new interim leader. Uh, try to get him power now. Whether he's going to be better or worse than Maduro, who knows. Um, but at least uh, the Venezuela people will have hope. Hopefully people stop rioting, getting killed. Uh, nobody wants to see that. Uh, currently, uh, several European countries are getting on board with what the U.S. is saying, Euro uh, several European countries. So the U.S. definitely has backing by others, and uh, it's, time, it's time for Maduro to step down and get out of the way. But the reason I wanted to bring up these topics is because uh, we need to talk about why why this ban is important and in recent years um, Venezuela was having to import US oil and other oil producers that actually produce light sweet crude oil because Venezuela produces a very heavy oil and I've got an article uh, in World oil, uh, it's World oil magazine uh, quick little article discussing uh, this topic but so with the U.S. sanctioning the state-owned or operated company PDVSA, um, no longer are people able to do business with Venezuela. So like I was saying, Venezuela, they are known to have or supposedly have the world's largest uh, oil reserve. Problem is, their oil is very heavy. By that, I mean the oil is thick. It's almost like sludge, to be honest with you. I've worked with some of this stuff in South Texas, uh, some older fields, but uh, the oil is so heavy that they can't transport it is the problem. So what they used to do is they would import oil from the U.S., take that condensate, is what we know it as, the light sweet crude, which is 40-50 gravity oil generally produced by the shale formation in recent times, and they're taking that and mixing it with their oil to thin it out, basically, and then at that point they can put it on barges pipelines, et cetera, et cetera, to get it to marketing. Well, with the sanctions in place, nobody's allowed to do Venice, uh, allowed to do business with Venezuela. So this here is gonna really put pressure on these guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully Maduro will do the right thing, step down, and then uh, we'll get a new leader in and hopefully he can rebuild the country. The country is, is collapsing. Uh, they're in bad shape. But with that, I wanted to bring bring this to your attention of why the sanctions are uh, um, they're important and what's going on. This is basically choking the life out of Maduro, if you will. Um, but this brings up another good topic. Uh, a couple years back, if you remember the Keystone Pipeline. Keystone Pipeline, the gist of it was uh, Canada has the same problem. They have a lot of oil reserves. However, their oil is very heavy, just like Venezuela. And what the Keystone Pipeline was going to do was pipe uh, light sweet crude, basically condensate from Texas mainly, but some of the other uh, shale formations, send it up to Canada. They can mix that product with theirs and then thin the product out to where it could be marketed and sold and transported in a feasible manner. So that's an example of... Maybe, maybe you can relate to a little closer to home and why it's important. Rather than put it on a boat and send it to another another um, continent, if you will, it, it was just a pipeline going to Canada. That's the whole purpose of it, but that got blocked, and there's other issues. But if you look at a map of the United States, good God, there's, there's pipelines and whatnot going everywhere. So uh, anyway, I don't want to chase down, go down that rabbit hole, but that's just a little example for you guys. So... I'm going to link this uh, article, and if you want to do some following up reading on it, if you got questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the box. Um, appreciate your time, and we'll catch you later.